I guess you could say a pretty decent chin, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, very high volume puncher. It's like, you know, he's a machine. He just don't stop punching. We got Jamel Charlo. Iron chin. As far as we know. Because, you know, to be honest, man, Jamel Charlo hasn't really been hit by anybody with any real serious thump. So his chin isn't really that proven, man. I mean, you can say what you want. That's just the way I see it. Well, you know, we have to see. You know, um, I've seen him in there. He's been hit, but um, you know, somebody with some real serious snot behind their punches, you know, like a, a Jared Hurd or somebody like we never really seen that as far as I remember. Uh, Jason Rosario. You can say that's one that that's the only one I, I almost forgot about Banana for a minute there. Banana was really giving him a good run up to a certain extent <laughs> until he got spaghetti legged. You know, it, that was a hilarious fight, man. The dude is, is just extremely strong, good, decent speed, good power, somewhat, you yeah, know, somewhat okay head movement. Minimal footwork himself as well. You know, you see him move around a little bit. Jamel Charlo, he's not the best, but he does it. He does it, does enough, I guess. So how does this fight go? We got Jamel Charlo looking to become undisputed. He is the current IBF, WBA, WBC, 154 pound champion. Then we got Brian Castaño, who just won the belt off of Patrick Teixeira, the WBO belt. So he's a WBO holder, and he's looking to become undisputed and cause an upset. A lot is riding on Brian Castaño right now. You know, it's one of those things, man, where these, where these underdog fighters, they go into these championship fights, and they have the belt, and they looking to undisputed. it. They have a lot of weight on their shoulders, bro. You know, especially his country and everything. So, but the fight, man, how I see it going, pretty much, is going to go like this. Both of these dudes are going to be coming forward. This, this is what it is. That's just their styles. Um, Brian Castaño is like a robot machine. No real head. Like I said, no head movement, no real defense. And, I don't think that's going to really work against Jamel Charlo. Um, you're going to see, you're going to have, uh, Brian Castaño is going to have his moments probably early on, first two rounds, maybe three, and before Jamel Charlo starts to figure him out. And then another thing is, Brian Castaño doesn't really have all that much power like that. So he's not going to have the power to keep Jamel Charlo off of him, man. You know, um, Jason Rosario couldn't even do it. And he had some power. So, and being that how defensively irresponsible Brian Castaño could be at times, I see he's going to be, he's definitely going to be throwing those volume punches. But in between those punches, Jamel Charlo might counter him with something that he won't see and he might knock him out. I would say, if not, he's going to end up getting stopped somewhere between the six round i give it six six round stoppage uh his face he's gonna get battered in it i think they're gonna i think the ref is gonna stop the fight because he's gonna he's i gonna probably swell up at some point similar to way the way jamal charlo and debra and chaco fight it's probably gonna look just like that but with brian castaño bringing more more speed more more volume punching so i don't see any way that Brian Castaño could possibly win this fight. Maybe he might hurt Jamel Charlo to the body because he has great body work. But I just, I, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see it, man. I see Jamel Charlo, either he's going to knock him out in the six or the ref is going to stop in the six. He's going to get hit with something. He's too, he's too irresponsible defensively. He, you know, um, he definitely, I don't think he has the power to stop him. I just don't think so. Or or not, or he might hurt him, but to stop him, no. So I give this one to Jamel Charlo to become undisputed. 
super welterweight champion of the world over Brian Gastonio, six round stoppage by ref or KO. This is where you heard it here. You heard it here first. Well, I like to believe I was first, but you know how that go. It's Rubber Life Boxing. Like and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.